Perseus. Ah, we almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently. your bow to take them out silently. path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Imagine crossing a bridge near a village. Walker was somewhere on the other side. 
At the fork, you follow the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Now she's running 11. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Command, this is Victor 4. We've got a possible Soviet command outpost in sight. AC all over us. Requesting a napalm strike. Victor 4, Roger. Diverting air power to your area. 30 seconds out. Inside the house hit by Napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. Go check it out, Bell! Lab? That doesn't sound right. Bell's in the lab? Administering one cc of adrenaline. That's it, Bell. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. Scenario 6 again. Bell, we've got a job to do. I wouldn't advise that. I didn't ask. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged it.
path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. crossing a bridge near a village. Well, your report distinctly mentions the village as your destination. It doesn't mention the zip line. At the fork, you follow the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. We've stored up a hornet's nest. We need chopper support ASAP. Roger that. Chopper inbound. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. I don't care if the door was fucking... Give Bell another injection. That could be... Do, do it, now. now! Bell's heart rate is already... Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last.
Bell doing in the lab? Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume. United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. We will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. You've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together. Bled together. Been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. And now the training is complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. She's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves trap zone, he's stopping in Dugo. This you know. Here's what you don't know. 
Perseus or Peter, none of these hired guns are going to leave Duva alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. CIA reinvented you, Val. We needed to give you a new identity. It was Park's idea to make you MI6. She wanted that bond with you. He even picked up a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. Are your hands clean, Bell? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell. You've got Come a on, job. you've got a job Come to on. do. You've got a job to do. Got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, hate us right now. What we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you. It's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the Green Light Arsenal, we will detonate them all for the safety of Solovetsky. This is your chance to find out who you really are, though. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else gear up, we're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bill. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now.
Take my hand, Bill. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. It appears the Soviets have decided to cut... Approximately 72 hours ago, the militant's primary encampment was burned to the ground. Nothing but ashes. Apparently, the few survivors that escaped have scattered and gone into hiding. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. They've already intercepted messages from the KGB to assets throughout the city. We're poking holes in the Iron Curtain. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up, then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. True. We failed to hunt down Robert Aldrich and his domestic network of spies. We may have to go to more extreme measures, like broad domestic surveillance, which of course we're not authorized to do. Not yet. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik, that would have Perseus's European network. We also flushed one of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. There's a couple left, and eventually they'll hit the sewer too. Well, you're a wordsmith, that's it. And Bell. Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision at your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. 